God, I just thank you so much that your presence is in this room, Lord. Um, Lord, I just pray that any word that comes out of my mouth, that will just be a blessing to you, Lord, and that will further your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so my name is Keith, as Mr. Whitley mentioned. Did you guys, I didn't know that Mr. Whitley was that good at guitar. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so I, uh, I started this organization called So We Run. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm just going to take a couple minutes and just talk to you guys about it. Before we do that, though, you guys do two things. First thing, I never want to look down at their feet. Just look straight down at your feet. What's on your feet? Shoes. Shoes, right? Just think about that. Put that in the back of your head. Just remember that. You have shoes on your feet. Now I have another question for you. All right? What is your guys' favorite thing to do in the whole world? What is, if you have a free Saturday afternoon and you want to go have fun, what do you do? Football. 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 Basketball. Okay. In the back. Yeah. Golf. All great things. Yeah, what's your favorite thing to do? Soccer. These are all awesome, awesome things. For me, it's playing basketball. I love playing basketball. <laughs> Now imagine this. Imagine if I said, if you can't play basketball, if I said you're not allowed to play basketball, or soccer, or football, or even go golfing, you're not allowed to do it. How do you feel? Someone said we can't have a covenant baseball team or a soccer team. We can have a really good baseball Thank you. So here's the thing. There's places in the world where that, that's true. They're not allowed to play. Last summer, last summer I went from Boston area. Argentina. You guys know where Argentina is? It's right, right there. Right in this area. And I was right there. And I learned about this school. It was actually in another country, but I learned about this school where they weren't allowed to play. They literally weren't allowed to play. And the reason they weren't allowed to play was because they didn't have any shoes. They played a league that says the first rule of the league is if you don't have shoes, you can't compete in games. So they're allowed to practice, but they weren't allowed to play in games. And this broke my heart. They weren't even allowed to play. Remember how you guys said some of your favorite things to do was to play basketball? Yeah. Play ball? yeah. Oh, All those things like that. This group of kids aren't even allowed to do that. So I started thinking, there's got to be a way that we can just help them, let them play. So I had this idea. How many of you guys know Gordon College? So I played basketball at court, and I, I have a confession to all of you. I wasn't very good. And, um, so at the end of each year, or at the end of each year, we got a new pair of shoes. The problem was, I didn't play enough to wear out my shoes. I wasn't good enough to play. So at the end of each year, I had an extra pair of basketball shoes. And even though I didn't necessarily need them anymore, I figured there had to be someone in the world that needed them. And I called these kids. Wait a second, there's these kids in the soccer school that could use a pair of shoes. So then I thought, okay, collect extra what you shoes, the other people do. That's a great idea. How can no one's done this before? Well, there was someone who had done it before, wouldn't you know it? And they're called Souls for Souls. So I called Souls for Souls and talked to them a little bit. What I found out is that they were getting they were getting shoes to some people in need. There are some people that are falling through the cracks that would never, ever, ever get these shoes. People like this school, the soccer school, that they weren't able to play in their games. So I had the idea, and you know what? Let's start our own organization to collect shoes. That's me, by the way. My hair was a little longer then. Yeah, that was a much better shape. So this is what we do. Our organization is called So We Run. Three words. So We Run. Every time I say it, it, makes it, it sounds like I'm saying, so we run. It sounds like it's like in French or something. So, three different words. So, we run. You guys say that with me? I'll say one word, and you say it back. So, so. we, we, 
Run. Run. Awesome. And what we do is we collect shoes that are just lightly used, that are in still good enough condition, and we give them to people who need them. So the first step, collect shoes. Where's, where's, if you're in fourth grade, raise your hand. Fourth graders. So the fourth graders have this box right here. They've been doing an awesome job of already collecting shoes. How cool is that? They just put a box on and they're already filling up with shoes. So that's step one. We collect them. You guys see all the shoes that are on your feet? Yeah. Right? I'm not talking about those shoes. You can keep those shoes. I'm talking about extra shoes that you don't need anymore. That maybe you need shoes. That you have outgrown or that don't fit anymore. Those kind of shoes. So the first thing is we collect the shoes. You guys have been such a great audience. Thank you so much. The second thing we do is we find people who need them. Now what we do is we give shoes to people who may need them all over the world. We send shoes to uh, Southeast Asia. We send shoes to Haiti. We send shoes to the Dominican Republic, which is really great. But we also give shoes to people that are in the area. I go to a church in Beverly. We give the uh, we give shoes to people in Beverly. Even. So all over the world, people need shoes, and that's what we try to do. We try to um, just find people need them, and we give them to them. The guy right there, on, on all the way on the right, the bald guy, that's my partner. His name is Ryan Smith. He's a great guy. The guy in the blue shirt. The guy with the super dad shirt. He doesn't have any kids. <laughs> so I'm almost done. I just need your guys' attention for like one more minute. Is that cool? Yeah! And then we'll take questions. So what can you guys do? The uh, first thing you can do is you can dream big. I know it sounds a little corny, maybe a little cheesy, but if there's something in your head that you just you just don't understand or that doesn't make sense or you feel like it's unfair, for instance, kids not being able to play was unfair to me. And I want to do something about it. So is there something that you guys can think of that bugs you, something that you want to fix? See what you can do about it. Maybe you can start an organization. I don't know. Do something like School We Run. The second thing you can do is you can help help us collect school school supplies and shoes. Another thing we're doing in addition to collecting shoes is just taking pens, paper, markers, basic, basic things like that overseas to people who need them. Because you guys probably all have pencils, but there's some people in this, in this world that don't have pencils. Some people who really like to draw aren't able to draw because they don't have pencils or markers or things like that. So you can collect, uh, you can collect the shoes and you can donate them to Soli Run, and then we're going to disperse them to people who need them. Okay? That's kind of what we do. It's kind of fun. We just started, but um, it's been pretty cool to see how guys have been working. So repeat with me. So, so we, we run. run. Very good. I think I have maybe time for two questions if there are any. <laughs> questions. Yeah. And we get the school supplies. So the question is, when we get the school supplies or shoes, where do we put them? In my closet. I have a pretty big closet, but it's a lot smaller since we started collecting the shoes. So we have probably about 500 pairs of shoes in my closet. What? So what? Come back to we have time for, I need one more question. Yeah, absolutely. Question. So the question was, when you bring your shoes, where should you put them? I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Lilly, but this box is right outside the fourth grade classroom. You can just bring them right to there. That's a great question. Awesome. Hey, if you want any more information about what we do, about what So We Run does, I have about a thousand business cards somewhere, if you want one. And we also have a website. So We Run.org. You want to go online and look us up. Do they have all these sport shoes or can they be any kind? I'm sorry. Can they be any kind of shoes? Any kind of okay. shoes, yeah. And actually, the, the more um, variety, the better. So we can 